All right. So anyways, Liam, how are you? Mr. Bledsoe, how are you? Are you guys ready to get the show on the road? Looks like last night we retired here in San Jose. It was a kind of a lengthy trip from, uh, where were we in? Hollister? Hollister to San Jose here, California. Yeah, it's the daylight. That's right, Liam. It is the daylight, the most favorite train of most rail fans in the entire universe, including yours. And today, yes, we're going to be running out to San Francisco. So this is going to be a San Francisco treat, similar to rice a All right? So, ah, let's get this show on the road. We are going to be departing here at San Jose at approximately 10.20. Right now it's about 10.18 and 30 seconds, so I'm going to give us to about 10.20 to depart. We got about 45 miles into San Francisco, so I estimate we should be there probably a little bit after 11 o'clock sometime. So at this moment, I'm going to go ahead and open the doors to all those boarding. Please be able to hurry up and get your butts inside the train. We are going to be departing here very shortly. And one important thing here about the Caltrain station I've noticed in free roam playing is you need to leave promptly on time and pay attention to the signals because I've blown these signals a couple times upon leaving the station and have ran head on into a commuter train and I don't want that to happen today because you live <laughs> so let's get this show on the rails there you go Liam alright so we will be departing here in about a half a minute Make sure everyone's aboard the train. This is Daylight 4449 Extra Excursion from San Francisco to from San Jose. All aboard! Alright, conductor, we're clear, we are clear. position here. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Alright. There we go. Lighting problem here. Why the hell are the lights on on that diesel locomotive behind us? What's wrong with it? Oh well, we'll deal with it. It's kind of blinding at the back of the cab there. Strange. Very strange. Alright, so we're off on our way to San Francisco, departing San Jose here. That is a picturesque moment, actually. Let's, let's get some photos here if we can. Yeah. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. My shot's right there. Now, like I said, one thing that's kind of strange is we have our lights on inside are on our helper locomotive and I have no idea why. Oh god, we're speeding our attention. And that doesn't make much sense. Why guys? I don't know. I don't know how to fix that. Wasn't like that earlier. Must be a glitch. Looks kinda strange though, if you ask me. So we're nearing our 40 mile per hour zone here. Oh wow. That's strange. D 
definitely seems like a glitch. Only question is, will it go away? Alright, let's get this puppy up to speed. Ah, oh, there we go. Very nice. Very nice. I'm telling you guys, a 64 bit looks a lot nicer. You guys, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. I know it's it's early in the stream, I know. Let's do this. Let's save it. Let's quit. And don't worry, don't worry. This will only take a few seconds and let's resume that. Let's see if the lighting's still an issue. Let's see if it was a glitch. Because that's a tad bit annoying on my end. I know it might not be on your end, but on my end, that was bugging me. Definitely. Ah, oh, let's see what we can do here. What a shame, too, just as we're getting up to speed. Alright, let's see, let's see. I always forget about the save function on Train Simulator. It actually is really nice because you're able to do this. You know, if you want to save something real quick and get right back to where you were. I actually haven't taken advantage of it as much as I should have. No, damn it, still there. Well, guys, I don't know what to say about that. We're just going to live with it. It doesn't make much sense, though. That's a shame. That's a shame. Uh, Bledsoe, we were trying to get rid of the, uh, the glare there. See if it was a glitch, mate. That headlight glare for some odd reason. We're clearing into the 79 zone. The line side view as soon as we cross in here. Alright, there we go. Oh, thank you, Liam. Thank you for the advice, mate. Definitely take that into consideration. Alright. Alright, guys. We got this 484 Northern up to speed. We are traveling here, gonna reach 79 miles per hour. Let's put a full throttle on this baby. Let's see what we can do. And Liam suggests he wants us to bring that reverser down to 30. All right, Liam, we'll do that just for you, mate. Let's get this puppy up. No, I have never met LaserJet. I have never had an account. I'm from the United States. I'm from Los Angeles, Southern California. I believe LaserJet's from the UK, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, guys, we are at full throttle here. We're almost full throttle. Now we're at full throttle. We are blasting along the Peninsula Corridor. Very nice. Very nice. We are in route to San Francisco. I don't have any interruption on the way. Just be clear. I 
really wonder why that light is like that. That's really driving me kind of crazy. Yeah, since damn Loco's lights are on. Why? It makes no bloody sense. I'm just trying to think of any reason why. The only thing I can think of is a glitch. Probably a glitch. We're at speed here. But damn, that's an annoying glitch though, right? <laughs> uh, we are approaching Lawrence, it looks like. I wonder if we set that locomotive out somewhere that light will go away. We might have a chance to do that here. Hmm. Let me see. Let me figure this out here. Green here. No, I don't think there's really any sidings really set over here. Ah, I'll get the regulator to 57. Alright, let's up the regulator. It's really a shame the headlights are on on that help of a motor though, guys. Sunnyvale, we have a great crossing coming up about a mile and a quarter. out of San Francisco. Not too bad. And we're actually moving at track speed, whereas yesterday we weren't. We're like 25 miles per hour the whole way. Definitely, definitely different than last last night's stream. We were really slow yesterday at that 25 mile per hour speed zone cap to that. This is a whole different ball game. Oh, well, thank you, Liam. I played too much of this game. I always tell people if I went to a actual uh, simulation, you know, for the real railroad, it'd be funny. Like, Dude, what do you, how do you know how to do this so well? Oh, I've been playing Train Simulator for the last couple of years.
being somewhat steady. Liam wants us to bring that regulator up to 79. All right, Liam. Just because you asked, Timmy. Max is 75. Max is definitely 75 right now. Caltrain? Yeah. A little late on that one. Drop that regulator. <laughs> Excuse me. Drop that regulator down a little bit. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> now I think you have a better idea of the. Pressure's good, everything looks good. I thought we were gonna be staying at a steady 70. Not a steady 70. Oh, I didn't blow the horn of that great call. I wanted to do a Northeast Corridor uh, little like competition, steam competition, and some of the long stretch tracks they have out there. Uh, so I'm definitely down for that. Definitely down for that. Alright, so we're going to be coming through California Ave. This is California Avenue Station, Caltrain Station. Locomotives are just used to run up and down these tracks. These GS models are the main locomotives that SP use for the commuter. Not the main, but one of the main locomotives that SP use for their commuter services on the next level. This is cool to recreate that run. I just wish the lighting wasn't so jacked up. Nice train FF, very nice. I was just actually up here this weekend, up in the peninsula for TwitchCon, train FF, and I was at a, what was it, the San Carlos station. The Redwood City station I was, I got to see. I love it, it's a beautiful area, man. 
Very, very beautiful area. Nice train SS, nice. It's Palo Alto. You actually knew the GS4s. Very nice, Liam, very nice. Alright, Menlo Park, Menlo Park is our next station, the home of Facebook. Alright guys, we are highballing into San Francisco. We have no stops and route, it's going to be a straight, straight, straight run. Like I said, Menlo Park is next. If any of you do work at Facebook, you would like to depart here, please. Can I see the diesel cab? Of course, Chip Bledsoe. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, we're in a, we're in a tight zone right now, though. i got to extend my toes. It's great probably. And I love, I mean, I'm a, I've grown up working on gasoline and diesel engines, so I'm kind of familiar with the molten steam. And I think it's a little more practical to run every day, but nothing beats a, a freaking steam locomotive, you know? I mean, <laughs> I don't know, it's a tough one. Yeah, I, I, I would think so. Atherton definitely would be a quiet zone. I think Mark Zuckerberg lives in Atherton. I've never been to Menlo Park Station though, I've only actually been to the city and like the Facebook, I think the tour of Facebook. But uh, I did red I did go to Red like I said Redwood City, I read real kind of Redwood City. They're coming up right here. Had some lunch right there in the downtown area and also at San Carlos. That's cool, that's cool train SF that train SF. It's cool to meet real fans from the peninsula. Very cool area. I love it. My buddy lives there, so I, I'm trying to at least get out there at least once every two months. Come up there, hang out. I would like to say, we just hooked up the TwitchCon this last weekend. Alright guys, we're going to be approaching Redwood City. Wow, it looks just like Redwood City. Hey, we got Brand Fly. Got Brand Fly right there. Street running there. It goes under the uh, it goes under the 101, right? Train SF. I could have swore I saw the track. It looks like it went street running, and they went right under the 101 freeway. And I saw a bunch of actual some vagrants underneath the, 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 the freeway right there where the that branch goes, if I'm not mistaken. Conductors is all aboard, it means to a train that you are ready to go, you can stop moving. That doesn't mean passengers stop boarding. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely, that means everyone's in the damn train and the conductor's like, let's get on, let's go. 
Nice train SF. Christian Klein, no I did not buy a train pack. This is the 4449 vanilla version directly from uh, from Dovetail. This is directly as you get it. No, nothing attached, nothing changed. This is it right here. Very clean looking motor. Actually, you know, with the 64 bit edition, it, gets, it looks a lot nicer. It looks a lot cleaner, a lot more detailed. Very nice. Nice, FSF, nice. Yeah, I was eating lunch in Redwood City and uh, we were headed to TwitchCon in San Jose, so we jumped on, you know, the 101 right there. And I saw the tracks. I'm like, where do these tracks go? You know, and it went under the 101 and it looks like it just kind of snaked underneath there. And I, like, I, saw, I saw a bunch of homeless underneath the bridge there. I was like, wow. I wonder if that line's active. So, wow, that line is an active line. Interesting. And that's UP, I take it. Very cool. There's San Carlos. San Carlos right here. Actually, guys, there's a nice little Indian restaurant right over here to the right. I think it's in this building right here. Wow, it's just, just like the station. That's crazy. Alright guys, so we are about 23 miles out of San Francisco. I think we're going to make our time, like I was saying, a little bit after 11 o'clock into the city. If you pass the SP4449, how fast do you think it is? Good question. I don't know. So basically, you just want the regular version. Uh, no, not necessarily. I just have never ever looked into getting an updated version. I would be so ever kindly and indentured to you if you could tell me a little bit more about this upgraded version, my friend. It's active. Yes, it is UP. Oh, very cool, I said. Very cool. That's what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. Very nice, man. I'll have to get up there again and do some more rail fanning. Maybe we can meet up. My buddy lives uh, actually in Redwood City right there, so maybe we can yeah, meet up and do some fanning. Oh, what do you buy it at, Mr. Klein? Has this like recently been released or something? Oh. If you had to choose, would you go for the Titanic or the SD4449? I still don't understand that question. Do elaborate some more. It seems like a lot of these stations are awesome and real fan art. It seems like there's not really much security, there's a lot of open space. Not like down here in SoCal. It seems like every, every station down here in SoCal is like guarded with like crazy arm, heavily guard. It's gnarly. Remember I told you the daylight stop speed was 110. I even checked on Google. Google says 110. Very nice. Game, a new challenger. UP. Really, they're re-releasing one, huh? Six behind us, that's ridiculous. Like, why is that on? <laughs> Alright, we're passing Haywood. Guys, we're definitely making 
make a good time. We have about 18 miles to go till San Francisco. San Mateo, next station to pass through. Hybrid Nation, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to Hybrid Hobby, Hybrid Nation. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I don't even have much drink left. Hold on, hold on one second. I've got too many great crosses right here. Oh. The alerts are just going off left and right. Wow, San Mateo looks like a big, big station there. Wow, that was gnarly. Six crossings. Liam, you're awesome, man. You rock. this in real life just crossing after crossing this thing just blasting through oh my god it'd be epic I have a lot of great crossings Another one. Uh, how are we looking, guys? 30 miles per hour. We're doing good. We're doing good. We got about 15 miles till San Fran. We're at the Broadway station right now. Funny, it's hard to hear me modulating the whistle and the, uh, and the horn there, but I definitely am. It's just hard to hear it. Ah, you want to hear a little bit of chugging, don't you? All right. All right. I think Tim is always going to let me go. I see what you want to do, Kayla. All right, all right, I'm all for it. That's ten is all gonna let me do. Turn up to Neil Gray. Francisco guys, we are almost there. It's a nice little run, I like this, especially with the GS4. I think I'm going to try it without a diesel helmet next time. I'm going to get a war baby out too, all SP cars.
how it comes to San Bruno. What was all that all about? What a beautiful locomotive. I'm telling you guys, the 64 bit really, really enhanced this thing. I'm actually impressed to see what 844 looks like. Ah, those are the bar tracks. Got it, got it. No problem, Liam. I'll catch you in a bit. The bar's fun to ride, too. I've ridden the, ridden the bar once when I was a kid when I was up. My aunt used to live in the Bay Area when I grew up. Definitely cool, though. San Bruno, guys. San Bruno. San Francisco. Very nice here, very nice. So about 10 miles to go to reach the downtown area. Uh, guys, by the way, I don't know if any of you remember from the last night's video, I broke my left, uh, my left collarbone with the clavicle, so I'm playing with one, one hand right now, so please bear with me. Normally I have two hands that I can play with my two arms, but right now I'm only playing with one. I broke it in front of TwitchCon. <laughs> ah, got it, SF. Very nice. Doesn't this, this GS4 look just right at home with those hills behind it? Like, look at that. Oh my god! Look at that with those hills, man! That looks so like... Like it's 1953! Very nice. Uh oh, what happened? Alright guys, we are 8 miles south of San Francisco, we're almost in town here. I love this locomotive, this thing's awesome, this thing runs really nice. I'm thinking about, I don't think I even ran this route from San uh, Jose to San Francisco. I always run it from San Francisco to San Jose, but I never ran it upwards, south to north. Hey Liam, welcome back, man. Heading into the San Francisco area soon. Alright, how are we looking here? We're 
got about six miles in, run about six to seven miles per hour to be coasting in to the city. Definite improvement on the 64 bit for sure. Definite improvement. Right, we are coming into the San Francisco area. Speed there, I didn't realize the speed drop. Tunnel here. Yes. Alright, so we are in this tunnel here, coasting into San Francisco. So we have another tunnel right after this one. <laughs> hey, Deshaun Smith, what's up, man? How are you, dude? Long time, it definitely has been, absolutely. Welcome back to Hybrid Hobby. Welcome back to Hybrid Nation. Ah, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. What is happening? All right, so we're going to be cruising here. Uh, the, the stream is ending, Liam, when we hit San Francisco. So we're got about four miles left to go. We have an oncoming train there. Good, good, Deshaun. It's good to have you back, though, man. It's good to have you back here in the hybrid hobby, the hybrid nation. It's good to actually be back streaming with you guys. I did take a couple months off, had a lot going on, still have a lot going on, but I recently broke my uh, my left clavicle, broke my shoulder, um, and I am, can't really do much. So that's why I'm going to be streaming again. I take a drink of tea there. But yes, I'm going to be streaming a heck of a lot more, so just stay tuned. Lots of scuffed railroad action ready to come your way. Accelerate a little bit here as we march into the downtown San Francisco area. belated uh, birthday Liam yeah Deshaun it was pretty crazy it happened actually it's funny I was at TwitchCon I was riding one of those bird scooters and I was like full speed man and crashed on one of those things right in front of everybody it was wild actually kind of funny but besides the fact that I'm in a lot of pain and my shoulders broke <laughs> it's a shame no one got it on video All right, we're two miles out of San Francisco, guys. Two miles out. Oh, Liam, 
You need a real buff today. Oh, I see, I see. Well, it's never too late. Alright, so we are still cruising in here to the sand gun area. I didn't realize that so many little stations before you actually get to downtown San Fran. Alright, so we're going to be rounding a curve and then right into downtown San Fran. Start watching our break there. Okay, new. See, he didn't even tell you though that there's a 40 coming up right there. That's not fair. Yeah, this one is bad boy. Wow, I broke my arm before I was riding my bike downhill. My arm hit really tree and I passed out. Oh my god! Deshaun, that's horrible! Oh god! This is the question I should have asked yesterday. What do you think would have been in a death battle, Mario or Sonic? How long I passed out but EMS found me soon? That's scary, man. That's no joke. That's really scary. Alright guys, this is San Francisco. And we are pulling in with the San Francisco tree. Oh god, we're speeding too. It's like you gotta know the speed limits. That's funny. They're not really posted. Yeah, the 4449 is probably one of the like the best like man-made things ever. Like I don't know why. It just it just kicks ass. Just the paint job, I just even when it's not even you know in, in daylight color, but even when it's in Freedom Train or War Baby color, it's still a badass piece of machine. It's the awesome piece of human engineering. I agree. Comes. Oh, we made it, guys. Our final leg of the journey. Very nice. Very nice, guys. We did it. We freaking made it to San Francisco, guys. How do you like that? 
Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. Holy shit. Look at that. Look at that. The San Francisco. Yeah. Wow, guys. I'm excited. I've never really got to do that. Yeah, I wanted to take some pictures. What is this? Oh. Damn train simulator. Totally ruined my moment of celebration right there. <laughs> well, guys, that was cool. We did it. We made the whole run. We made the whole run. How about that? Finally. Finally made the whole run. That was... It's, it's been a while. I don't think we've... Oh, I've done a whole run in a while. Oh, what am I saying? We did a whole run in a while a couple months ago. But anyways, that was good. That was great. That was grand. Well, guys, I am going to step out. It is about 2.30 my time, Pacific time, here in Los Angeles. I'm going to go grab a bite to lunch. I wanted to come and play some train simulator with you guys for a little bit here. Finish up our route from last night. I appreciate everyone that stopped by today. Liam, Deshaun. Dude, you guys are awesome. Thanks for coming by making this little stream something worthwhile for me. Thanks for making the hybrid hobby greater, more powerful, and the most scuffed railroad channel on Twitch. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be back. I'll be back soon enough. I might be back tonight. I may be back tomorrow. But just know that I will be back. James is back. Hybrid Hobby is back from the break, from the hiatus. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, I will catch you later. This is James. Have a great Sunday afternoon. And remember, stay safe. Train SF, it was great talking to you about... Local Peninsula Corridor Rail founding to Sean Smith. It was great seeing you again. Liam, always a pleasure with our 449 talk. You guys have a great day. Like I said, have a great afternoon. Stay safe. Go eat some good dinner. It's a good Sunday. Peace out. Love you guys. Hybridation. Hybrid holiday.